Good morning. We are about to head into the grocery store. We're going to Trader Joe's, obviously. It's the only place that we shop. Sunday morning and we're <laughs> the first ones here. Well, we're not the first ones. Damn, sure. <laughs> but the savages are out already. Seven minutes. Just opened seven minutes ago and we we're one of the first. <laughs> prepping meat buy a rotisserie chicken and if you go in the morning they are usually fresh like i had to get this from behind the counter because he just pulled it out of the oven so it's like completely fresh i've already been picking at it because i'm starving i didn't eat breakfast it's so good like fall off the bone meat um and what i do during the week is i break this down when i get home while it's still hot because it's easier to break down and literally you just like pull it apart and rip off all the meat, put it in a container. And then I'll take the meat and I'll do, um, I'll toss it in like my salad kits for the meat. And it's like the easiest way to have protein for your meals. So, let's break Thank down. You a little bit of strawberry oats. Break down the chicken. Strawberry protein oats with a pumpkin spice protein powder. Mmm, mm, delicious. We're gonna put a little syrup on it. Syrup. Syrup. Use a little bit of almond milk. Excuse me. Pretty light. I think the garlic herb one is better, to be honest. That one just didn't have no flavor to me. The other one didn't have flavor. I could, essence. I think I could like, clearly taste that it was like garlic herb though. Yeah, maybe it would have been better fresh, like right off out of the oven, but. eating all the good parts. hair stylist a bridal hair stylist luckily 
she has is gonna handle my hair but i just need to do my makeup really quick because um we're gonna take some pictures afterwards it's a cerave lotion by the way i'm gonna do a quick makeup look you guys already kind of know what products i use but i will link them all in the description for you guys but i am wearing white because this is her audience is like brides and i'm not a bride don't you guys worry you guys will be the first to know if i'm a bride this is a super goop sunscreen like spf glow sunscreen and it's tinted uh i think there's different shades this is like a darker one but it's perfect like just to wear to the beach i think it's like great because it literally just makes you tan spf 40 and it's glowy but anyways she was just in the hospital um she had some like health things going on and i am gonna go pick her up some flowers i made a bouquet yesterday and she commented and was like oh my god that's so pretty so i'm gonna go pick her up or try to pick her up the same flowers so she can have her own from traders on the way to her place so thought that would be fun to do but i need to like hurry up because i've been trying i was trying ooh. i'm running a little bit late because i had to finish up a vlog this morning and i wanted to make sure that that was ready to go and uploading while or like processing uh while i go over there so that i can get it up tonight i'm really excited about vlogging again i feel like it's gonna be i don't know so fulfilling I feel very fulfilled when I'm vlogging. I also woke up like feeling kind of stuffy. I don't know if it's allergies or but we have to push through. Merit bronzer. And I've been loving the liquid blush from Rare. I don't even think I put too much today. Oh my god. Heart shape tape just to add a little bit of brightness and try to bring down that blush a little bit because it's was excessive and i've been really liking using a powder puff i recently rediscovered this brush i used to use a big fluffy brush but this one's the morphe 5 m530 and i'm using my butter bronzer and i feel like this one like kind of is more precise because it's smaller and i don't know i've just been like liking being more precise with my makeup i guess but blush more for an added glow like overall glow from within i do the hourglass ambient lighting powder in luminous light and hit that like on the cheeks forehead chin and nose and also this soap has lasted me for years like actual years i need to tint my brows really badly especially because i have darker hair now so they're like really light I think I'm gonna do that before I head to Cabo. Nothing crazy. You guys know I'm like not into doing my eyeshadow anymore. But I did like a shadow liner. But I also learned this hack from TikTok basically to make your eyes pop. It's basically using the color wheel. And so you'll take your eye color and do like an opposite color of it on the color wheel. So mine would be opposite of blue, would be like a reddish brown. So I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it on my like inner waterline. And it makes, I mean, you can't really tell in this lighting, but it makes your, like, your eyes pop a little bit. Because it's, like, a contrast. But it's not, like, adding actual eyeliner. It's just bumping it right on the inner corner. So I feel like it, like, accentuates the eyes. Alright, I'm about to head out. This is the makeup look. Pretty good pretty good um i need to put on some jewelry i'm thinking that i do a stack of pearls i just got this one from set in stone i've been wearing it non-stop but i think i wanted to like kind of layer it pearl necklace like a couple of them okay this is my necklace necklace stack and then my rings and for earrings, I think I'm gonna go for 
just a pair of plain hoops. I've really been loving Replica Beach Walk for summer. And I know this is discontinued because you, you literally cannot get this anywhere. But if you find it on eBay or something, it's the Kim Kardashian one. Um, this is the KKW Body 3. It's like, I think she says it like Kanye used to wear it because it's like unisex. And I love it. It smells so freaking good. So if you can get your hands on it somehow, do it. Because it kind of smells like masculine but like a, it's like a unisex definitely but it smells like musky and peppery in a way but in a with like trust me it smells so freaking good like your skin but better this top is from revolve and i'll have to link it for you guys and then these pants or these shorts are from bohm and then i also have these outfits over here that i'm gonna take with me so shooting these cowboy boots today and then these are the shoes i'm gonna wear right now and I want to show you guys how I've been making these salad kits at home with the chicken that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog so we're gonna do the elote um, chopped salad kit from Traders I recently discovered this one it's pretty good also I like to add more to it like volume wise and so I'll add in butter lettuce too Beef it up. So, here we go. And then you're just gonna add in all the topping, the dressing, everything. And this is kind of like a chipotle chicken salad. And you could definitely add more stuff in here. Like you could add veggies, you could add like, uh, I think I added tomatoes last time. I'm going to add some chicken in here, so we're just going to add like a ton of, honestly like maybe like half of this container because this is going to be prepped. Um, so like a big portion of the chickens. Like I said, this makes a ton, like this is a ton of chicken. So this is gonna be good for um, another like meal prep. I'm gonna do one full diced tomato. Last time I added cilantro too and lime. So this might not be as good. I do have lime, but I don't have like any fresh cilantro. So it might not taste as like zesty as I want it. Fresh lunch or last time. Oh well. Um, I do have basil. I don't know if that's gonna not be as yummy, but we're gonna the tomatoes, lime. We're gonna squeeze a full lime in there. But for the basil, to chop the basil, you're gonna wanna 
take it and like roll it up. And we're just gonna like roughly slice it. Here's what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna do a full lime. Literally five minutes to make the salad. And then you're just gonna take some tongs and toss the salad. It looks so delish. Literally so good. So just wanna share because this is a great way to get your like proteins in. And um, it's like super light and refreshing and easy for the summer. Looks so good. Taste test. Mm. You wanna try my salad? No vegetables for the kid. Okay, I just got a couple of PR packages in and I thought I would share them with you guys just because there's some things I'm really excited about. I don't typically share all of like the PR packages I get, but um, I get them for work so I can try them and share them with you guys. So I thought I would share some of the things that I got. Summer Fridays. So we have the jet lag mask. You guys, this stuff is so freaking good. It's like, it's like a mask, but you leave it on. You can just like leave it on like a lotion and it makes your skin feel so smooth. I bought the travel size one from Sephora just to test it out and I've been loving it. So I got the full size one and they sent me another travel size one. I'm going to take this with me to Cabo. And then they also sent over their Cloud Dew gel. I've been looking for a new daily moisturizer. And I also sent Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. And I put I pumped it on the back of my hand and it kind of comes out like a lotion consistency. So I'm really excited to try this. This is probably the thing that I'm the most excited about because I've heard a lot of great things. So there is the first package. Next, I wanted to show you guys. I can, still cannot believe I'm on Rare Beauty's PR list. Like this is just crazy to me. Their new launch i think this is a new launch but i think that they just came out with these um they're like eyeshadow sticks and then also gel liners and a brow this is a mascara but like a brow kit basically brow gel and a brow pencil so yeah i'm really excited to try i got a special package from YSL Beauty. I have this balm i think it's like a primer slash lotion and then there's a skin tint which i'm definitely a skin tint kind of girly in the summer like this is my shit then we also have the halo tint this one might be a little bit dark for me so i might have to put this in like a giveaway or something but these shades i have already tried we have the gold and then we have i think this is the rose gold one what is this called yeah, rosy quartz and i actually preferred the rosy quartz one i feel like it looked a little bit more natural this one looks a little bit too goldy so i feel like i'm also really pale right now so once i tan um this will probably look amazing and i think this combination together is going to give you like a really glowy no makeup makeup look and then this is the star of the show i'm so excited to try the ysl touche clot concealer so basically it's a concealer pen and it comes with a little brush i've already tested this out it's a little bit dark for me right now but when i'm tan i feel like it's going to be the perfect match this is the shade 2.5 but I've, i used to work with a lot of makeup artists at my last job and they would always rave about this concealer like literally always talk about how good this concealer was so i'm really excited to try it i just never bit the bullet and tried it so i'm very excited to try this concealer and then they sent over one more of the candy glaze gloss sticks um, and this is in the shade, I think like the first shade, it's like a clear, maybe like a pinky clear. That's my little haul. So yeah, excited to try all these products and so grateful to be able to do this for a living. It's just so fun to be able to try these products for you guys. We are getting ready to go to Cabo this week and I want to show you guys this package 
that just came in i ordered some accessories for the trip and i'm so excited about this so i don't know if you guys have heard of miss lola this is not sponsored by the way i genuinely just like love their accessories they have a lot of affordable accessories like a lot of stuff under like 10 15 dollars i really wanted the black version of this because i thought it was so unique but they were out of stock of it so i got a lighter tan color woven coat love like the circle detail picked up a pair of sandals they're kind of like a linen material pretty i love the platform too and i just thought that these go really well for like a dinner outfit and i don't love wearing heels so i feel like a platform shoe is the way to go and i'm actually probably gonna wear these to dustin too because i feel like these are a good beach vacationy style summery shoe so i let you know if they fit your size sometimes the sizing could be a little bit off they have a ton of really cute earrings so um i've been seeing these styles everywhere so we have this like quilted almost like square statement style earring almost like sophia richie kind of style so i wanted something a little bit more classy i also picked up these like hammered metal almost like gold foil looking square ones too you guys i'm so excited about these obviously this isn't real pearls like these are definitely plastic but like how sick are these can we style those and then i also picked up a couple of clothes too i'm gonna show you guys i got a bikini set so this actually came all together i got this in a large i believe and it's like a bandeau style top also wraps here so it kind of like does a little crossbody thing and they're also high-waisted and they have like this v shape so that you don't have to like hike them up on your hips they already have that shape so i am i haven't tried any of this on like i said i just got it in but it seems like it's going to be cheeky but not like like enough coverage so you're not wearing a thong and then it also came with a little cover-up skirt i bought this one specifically for destin just because i thought it would be such a like cute little set to wear out when we go out and do stuff during the day if we like go to lunch or something so adorable like a knit almost like a sweater kind of thick thicker knit material which i think is like a sign that it's good quality and like really nicely made like it's not going to fall apart easily it has a drawstring so it's adjustable and i got this in a size large as well and then it also came with this vest matching vest and it's button down but i thought that that was so cute like even if i wore it open and more like a little bra laptop underneath or i could wear just like a regular bra or a bikini underneath lastly i'm so excited about these pants you guys let me show you these pants are so cute they're little cherries they reminded me of the ones from heavy manners i don't know if you guys have seen those but and this with like basic white top would be so fucking cute so um i picked these ones up in a large this is the biggest size that they had so this looks like it's gonna fit like a us 8 and not a us 10 so i'm a little bit worried i'm so sad yeah they literally fit like a us 8 and not a us 10 these are large they don't come in a bigger size i'm so disappointed because i was so excited to wear these and yeah um they're too big or too small in the thighs but in waist area anyways we're um heading about to head to target to check out their sale they're doing like 30 percent off of swim since we're going to cabo this week i wanted to kind of check that out and see you know what options they had i do need like a plain white bikini because oh i want to show you this dress that i got from amazon kind of this sheer maxi style dress and it has these little flowers pinned all over it or sewn all over it and i thought it was so pretty like this is so stunning you guys it's like 20 bucks on amazon i got this in a large and i don't really know what to wear under it so i was thinking like a white bikini i to find one at target today um so we'll see but yeah that's the plan for today going into target here we go gonna make sean come shop for anything I would not be me. spinning a dime okay we have this big section over here to look through so i don't even know where to start this one is so cute wait this one looks like a neutral zebra print And the bottoms look like nice and high waisted. So I might pick this one up. So, 
small. I don't know if they're gonna have my size in this one. Yeah, they don't have my size, so that's unfortunate. I probably have to order that online. It would be perfect for Cabo though, because it's like that Mexico kind of vibe. This one's really cute. I love that. Let's see what the bottoms look like. But this doesn't. This is like really cheeky. The bottom. I think it's so cute. This one reminds me of Black Bow Swim. They have one similar to this. Super simple. I love the color of this one, but I don't love the cut of the bottoms. Like they're kind of too full coverage, and I need like no coverage, <laughs> basically. This one could be cute, but it's a little bit girly for me. <laughs> this one's also cute, but a little bit too girly. I'm gonna keep looking. Look how cute this one is, you guys. I don't know, though, about the bottoms. They're a bit too, like, full coverage, high-waisted, and I don't love that necessarily, but... It's always an option. I love this color though. They're kind of SOL on the bikini area because it was all picked over. Or I'm just gonna have to order online. And then we're just gonna get some travel stuff. I'm gonna grab five dollars, bro. You want to shovel the most expensive It's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna get the native body wash. Love this one to travel with. I might just get bite the bullet and get this is five dollars i can't believe that what a rip off you're actually sick for that Sean. you're like actually embarrassing that's you going crazy you're supposed to brush your teeth immediately after <laughs> okay before my camera dies, since it's flashing, um, I did end up finding the shampoo and conditioner for this. This is the Kristen S. And this is like the best shampoo and conditioner I found for my hair. And then I also got um, the Native Body Wash and Neutrogena SPF 70. This is gonna be like my base. And once I run out of this, I'll have like a backup um, for the trip. But this is my actual favorite and it makes you super glowy. Um, they discontinued it for a while, but it's back. And then we also got some travel size loofahs. What else did we get? Oh, that's my actual loofah. Oh. Loofah. oh. I just like the small ones. Weird. That's weird. I don't like the big ones. The big ones is like Lotion. hard to maneuver. The, glow, the jerkins glow. I love the smell of this one. And it also is like technically like a tanning lotion, but I don't. Is it a tanning lotion? It's a gradual tanning lotion, but. Let me see. It's, it, I just like the smell and the feel of it. It's like a. The feel of it. This shit don't say nothing but no. Yeah, it's the gradual tanner. Gradually creates flawless natural looking color. They have a darker one and it actually does work if you like use it over and over, but like it does it's I not like what it's not black people use it. really they get yeah, darker? Probably not. You have to use this like for like two weeks straight to get some color. The bikinis did not work out, so I'm just gonna try to order them online if I Feel like it honestly i don't really need to i have enough bikinis and i have some coming in so i just thought she definitely try has out. enough of that i definitely have enough but i wanted to like have some new ones you know like you know when you go on a trip you want to like get all the new shit but whatever it's fine kind of didn't really work out for us but anyways heading home now